What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's SCS. And I'm looking for a 3 8 ratchet, man. I can't find none of my 3 8 long ratchets. I can find all my stubbies, but I can't find my long ones. But I'm on J-Rock C10. This swap is ultra clean, man. Like, this swap, this swap is real clean. Real clean, man. Got the long tubes on there. One and a half primaries, I believe. Uh... I'm getting all the stuff for the gauges put on. All the adapters came with it, so you ain't have to do shopping for no adapters. Just the main car harness. Chop it down. I am gonna box it up and put it put it in the box. That, that way, if he ever sell this truck or decide to take this out, which I doubt, he'll have all this stuff to put back on. Um, also, these are the wires. All right, here I come. My bad. These are the three for the gauges, oil temp, and speedo. And then this the power wire for the harness. Only thing we need out of here is the tack and the check engine light. This is for the LS harness. All this from here forward is supposed to be in the car, but he didn't want to drill a hole in the firewall for it. So we just gonna stick it under the hood, try to make it look clean as we can. Got the long tubes on. Got some uh ARP. So I told y'all I was gonna do a big cleanup and I'm pretty much done. For my, for my 10 mil, man, I might be able to make, make it work with a stubby and then get to tighten it up with a half inch to three quarter, three, three eighths adapter. Um, the long tube on this side is hitting on the frame mount, motor mount, frame and motor mount, but basically both. So I'm gonna find a way to heat it up, knock it a little bit. And for those who don't know, there has been studies that shown that hitting on a header will not affect horsepower. So unless people think you gonna hit on the header, shops do it all the time. Everybody do it, it's just a thing. When they don't clear certain things, you just heat it up, bang it, make it work. But um, yeah, y'all don't remember, last time I was working on this, before it got real, real, real scorching hot, uh, I had to get all the header bolts that was broken, the heads off. Um, I got the power steering situated. I just need a hose for it, for the return. Uh, and then I just showed y'all the harness. But like I say, so it's three separate harnesses getting tied into one. Well, this ain't really a harness, it's just connections. The car harness, Dakota Digital, and then the main harness, which is already hooked up on the motor. I just had to connect the computer, power, and then the ground wires right here. It's gonna go here. So we go ahead and tighten it up. We'll try to see if we can get it started today. The only thing that will stop us from getting this started is if the fuel pump not working. All right, so it pretty much, man, gonna be a a go to me, if you ask me. I just gotta go get some power, a power steering line, like one feet, a power steering return line. I think I'm gonna make me a little quick list. This, this is a whole bunch of like small wires all over this car running to the back for towing stuff and i ain't too sure so it's a fuse wire right here and it's running all the way in there that orange wire is to the transmission solenoid and all the rest of that stuff man it's like not hooked up so i don't know what what it do if it work or nothing so might be something for a later time but the fuel pump is working show y'all that Last time I checked it, I don't know, maybe I did it wrong, but it wasn't working. Red. Ooh, y'all seen it. So yeah, we got some fuel pressure. So you got the regulator on the motor, so you don't need a regulator. Just run fuel and return. As y'all seen, we got the fuel and everything situated. Uh, did a little poll on Instagram. Got a lot more than usual people saying I ain't gonna get it started. So let me explain something. Headers on, wire harness on. Cooling system is connected, no clamps though. Cooling system basically, it's basically there. Need a little radiator hose. But yeah, they say, no, nah, you ain't gonna get it running. So, only thing I do is run through this. Put the math on, O2 sensors on, 
connect the field system and we should be running. But uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, now that I know everything working, connect my hoses, blow this off, connect my hoses, and uh, shoot, run my fuel. Find some O2 sensors, which I think I got some on my storage. I'm about to go check. Should start right here. Or, yeah, just want to show y'all that. Oh, yes. I need to show y'all the headers. Had to bang and heat these boys up, man. Yeah. And see, all that was in the way on both sides and on the bottom. It's clear. Gotta bang him. That's all he kept saying, man. I want long tubes. I want long tubes. I want long tubes. So, all right, man. Do my best. Do my best, bro. So, uh, it's just one wire. I'm trying to figure out where you go. Yeah, this harness right here. Oh, it went to a fuel pump. That's what that is under the hood. Went to a fuel pump. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. Went to an electric fuel pump. Didn't even know. But none of this is gonna be used. Probably could take that filter. But I know a filter I'm gonna use. Same one I use on my eye. It's a bigger filter than this. So I can go on disconnect that. Let them know. Hey. Send the unit. Where's the ground? Don't see the ground. Ground, ground, ground. Ground, ground. ground. All right there. Ain't no boat in it. <laughs> the J-Rock for you, man. He always be doing it. Take the boat out. Don't put it back in there. So I got a boat collection. So I just go through. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this tank back up here. Connect my vent to the vent. I'ma just put a hose on the vent. It, it, it'll be all right. Just put a hose on the vent because it don't need to run to the emission system no more. But uh, if you in Cali or some states that require emissions, you can't do that. Yeah, so I'm just really running through, man. But for all the old schools, you got the vent run to the emissions. Yeah, it usually run to that, so. Just, once you swap it or whatever, or you emissions free, just run a little plug. I'll show y'all on the dump, same way. Y'all see, it's the vent. Nothing crazy, nothing spectacular. Man, that's the reason why I bought the lift. I'm still down here. I'm scraping my back up. But the floor's smooth, so it's all right. But uh, I hope I don't have no problem putting that tank up. I'm just using jack, try to try to jack it up by myself. And eight bolts holding in. I already got all the bolts right there. So like I said, I'm gonna do the vent, return, and, and the fuel return. But uh, I'm trying to connect my air compressor so I can blow this thing off real quick. Got some dust on it. I ain't trying to talk y'all ears off, but I'm trying to give the people who want the knowledge, the knowledge. So, some people actually still watch for the knowledge and not for the, you know, for the cars. I learn you something, man. But you got the knowledge. I already know what y'all be, hey, bro, you talking too much. For the knowledge, man. Let me connect my air compressor. Blow this tank off. All right, spray it down. Some rubberizer, and then I had to open the tank up so I can see what's fuel is and then uh, return. The vent is in the middle. Put it up. So I made some beautiful little 
holders for this cable thing pretty much dry real quick man i think i'm gonna spray another coat because i messed it up in some places spray another coat let it sit for a second while i uh just work on something else now should be right here it's going smooth so i'm trying to look and look and uh see what i have if i could make a new harness for the power and the ascending unit wires all right y'all got the fam with me getting cool she tripping don't look at that light like that that's why you already can't see so the tank up tomorrow we'll get some clamps a filter um and then we can jump on wiring literally wiring wiring oh two cents but i'm making a little list tonight i'm about to take me a quick look through this video i'm making and see what i need let me go and drop this so i'm gonna say my little list right now i need some fuel clamps i mean some clamps for the fuel lines ground charging wire power wire for the starter the math adapter which i don't need to start it o2 sensors set up for the ac y'all see it down there found i found what i need to get for connectors clamps for the radiator hose i got it one spark plug put the sender in for the oil uh power steering hose Let's see if we can use that fuel hose chop what i don't need connect the solenoid wire up fuel pedal well that's the 12 volt switch for the harness which is red wire put the computer in need to order a clamp for the radiator the upper radiator it's a v6 car so they got the mounts for the for the uh v8 but it should come up short a little bit so some something gonna work out might have to put a nut on this side weld it make it work like that or well, we gonna figure it out need a new battery it's battery he ain't even have a battery i've been using my batteries uh the oil dipstick gotta re-weld the oil dipstick got the other spark plug stick that right down harness on there clean though you need to do this steam port fill all the fluids uh i think that's it man i was gonna bring the light for me bring the light yes. i think that's it man i think that's it and then uh that wire right there this wire and ground that red that was for that fuel pump that's what i'm talking about you can go ahead and snatch that out. It's not needed. 